Welcome to the Unknown Angler. Uh, today we're going to tie what I call Jai's flies. These are for my nephew in Hawaii. Bucktail jigs. All you need is jig heads, bucktail, and a little crystal flash. Let's start out. We're going to go real beginning, right from the beginning here. Um, we're going to use a bobbin and some thread <clears throat> and a bobbin threader. This is the easiest way to get the thread through the bobbin eye jai. If you've already figured this out, skip to the next part. Once your bobbin's threaded, we're going to take the jig heads I gave you. They're meant to be used with plastic baits, so they have these little hooks on them to hold the plastic bait in place. What we do is we just take a pair of fingernail clippers and uh, clip off the little hooks that are in there, or whatever you want to call them, barbs, and uh, flatten that out a little bit. Put the hook in your vise. Start your thread by holding a little thread forward and wrapping over the top of it with the other thread. And keep going until you have a nice little thread base. We use that thread base to hold all the pieces in place. I wrap a little bit beyond uh, the little leaded area there. Uh, you don't have to, but I like to secure the thread. <clears throat> this is important. Take the bucktail, pull out oh, about a pencil thickness of bucktail, and cut it off right at the base. Cut the whole thing off. Don't cut the tips at all. Always cut way to the base. And then grab a hold of the tips with your hand and pull the short fibers out of the base. <clears throat> Pulling those short fibers out are going to help a little later on when you're tying everything in. It really makes a nicer fly if you don't have all those little short fibers wrapped around the base of the hook. Measure out how long you want the fly to be and then cut the bucktail off evenly at the top. And in this case, we're not going to try to spread the bucktail fibers all the way around the hook. We're just going to have them on top and then bottom. We're going to use our thumb to wrap them around a little bit in our finger, just kind of move them around so you get about half the hook covered with the bucktail. And then either flip the fly over in your vise, or if you have a rotating vise, rotate the vise. And now do the exact same thing on the other side. Cut the bucktail so it's the same length as the, the bucktail on the top. Place that right on top. Take a few wraps and then take your thumb and your forefinger and just wrap it right around. Perfect. And I like to do a little half hitch here. <clears throat> and the reason is, is we're about to add a little bit of glue You can trim off the fibers so they look nice and neat around the eye. Now we're going to add some crystal flash. I like to take just two long pieces of crystal flash, the whole piece. Take them, cut them in half. Now you have four pieces of crystal flash. Take one piece at a time and go around the hook and wrap all four pieces in one at a time on the four quadrants of the hook. So you have them nicely placed around the hook. And you only need to take a couple of wraps over each piece of crystal flash.
four pieces of crystal flash turn into actual eight fibers. And if you take a look at that, that's an awful lot of crystal flash on the fly. It's a lot of flash here. Uh, you want it subtle, not too tight. Now you can cut the tips off, make them all, and just put one drop of super glue on, maybe two drops of super glue. Now, make sure you have a rag handy for this next part, because when you start wrap, wrapping uh, towards the front of the fly, what's going to happen is the super glue is going to squeeze out. You see that drop forming right there? You want to take that and you want to wipe that off. You don't want that to drip on you or anything else. You don't need to put super glue on these. If you do, I guarantee you they will become absolutely bomb proof. They will not come apart on you. Now this is called a whip finish. Watch very closely what I'm doing with my fingers. Or <clears throat> look it up on Google and do whip finish with your fingers. Maybe somebody else can teach you a little bit better than I'm doing right here. But you basically take your two fingers, and I'd like to do two whip finishes, five to six a piece. And you spin your fingers over the top of the fly. Maybe if you put that in slow motion, you'll be able to see how I do it a little bit better. And that's it. Cut it off. And go put it in the water. It's a great little fly for salt or fresh water. And it's a good beginner fly. Good luck, buddy. See ya.